I have to say, this is the way that a router should work. What's up guys, Chris from Daily Tech, back today with a review of the coolest router I've ever seen or used, the Starry Station. Now, unlike most routers, the Starry Station is actually designed to be beautiful, easy to use, and most importantly, very reliable. And it is. Is it perfect? No, but it is a major breath of fresh air in a sea of otherwise stale products. And I'm genuinely excited about this. As you can see, the Starry Station is a shiny white triangle with a touchscreen on the front, and there are no unruly antennas that you can see. There's no hidden buttons, and there aren't even any indicator lights. I also have to say, I really like the form factor. It's nice and compact, and it doesn't take up too much space like other routers that tend to lay flat and wide and just take up more space than they need to. What's really cool is that at a glance, the screen will show you how healthy your internet connection is, as well as how many devices are connected to your network. And you can also see which, if any of your devices, might be having some connection issues, so you can troubleshoot those, and those are denoted by the red circles. I have to say, this is the way that a router should work. For instance, I really love that there's a chart that I can access in just a couple of taps that will show me the history of my internet speed and connection, which is great because if there's ever an issue with my internet service provider, if our internet goes out and it's not the router's fault, it's not any of my equipment's fault, then I don't have to call my ISP support, and that is a huge bonus. For people who just hate routers, it's cool that this router will help you try to fix any problems that might come up, but usually it's really common sense stuff. If there's a bad connection, it just gives you suggestions like, why don't you try to move this device a little bit closer to the router, stuff like that. At the end of the day, I'm really happy with how this router works and how it looks, and it's really weird actually not having to reset this all the time like I've been used to with previous routers. Now the smartphone app that works with this router needs to be mentioned because unlike other router apps, it's not an afterthought. So basically anything that you can do or see on the router's screen, you can do or see in the app itself, but remotely. Now here's something that's absolutely awesome. It only took me three minutes to go from unboxing to being totally set up and completely online, seriously. Now people that like to tweak things and tinker around with settings, they're not gonna find a lot of options to change, but honestly, that's okay. Those people can go buy a Netgear. People looking for family-friendly features like the ability to block certain content or maybe set time restrictions on internet usage, they're gonna be pretty happy with this device because number one, those features are here, which they aren't in many routers, and number two, they're really easy to access and use. But this thing is not perfect. It does have a few issues. The biggest thing for me is that there's only two ethernet ports in the back, and one of those is taken up by the line coming in from your modem. And that's bad news for people that need to plug in lots of extra devices, like for me, for instance, my Philips Hue Bridge and my Cujo internet security device. So right there, a lot of people are gonna have to tack on some extra money for the price to go out and get a switch to expand the amount of ethernet ports that they have. Also, this thing is a toddler magnet, and that's kind of unfortunate because there's no way to lock out the screen as of yet. Finally, the Starry Station runs really, really hot, and you can almost burn your hand on the metallic backside of the router. So you definitely wanna make sure to give this thing plenty of breathing space. So here's the conclusion. This thing is so reliable and so good looking that I'm more than willing to forgive its few shortcomings. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch up in the next video. Later.